information my partner and I have gathered and shared with you all, I still believe that things like marriage should not be legalized in our country. It would have many adverse effects on the citizens around us, the children who are being raised by the same-sex couples, and even on the, the couples themselves. Our nation is one that is under God according to the Pledge of Allegiance, so we should follow what God's word tells us. A high percentage of Americans are Christian, and many of these Christians become angry at the thought of same-sex couples getting married because it's act, an act brought upon in the Bible. If this law becomes legalized, it will increase the chances um, increase the chances of Christians showing public displays of dislike towards these groups of people. Like I said before, for thousands of years, marriage has strictly been between a man and a woman. Once the law alters this tradition and allows a man and a man or a woman and a woman to unify in marriage, it will promote other groups of people, such as those who favor polygamy and incest, to legalize their ideas of love and get to the point of marriage. My opponent said that um, us not allowing polygamy is um, protecting children or uh, not allowing incest relationships, but polygamy is going against what the con Constitution says. The Constitution says about our liberty, liberty. Some people believe that they should get married to one, more than one person. So why should why should the law be illegal against that? Um, these acts are more common than one, one might think, and some are even legal in other countries. Same-sex marriage slowly started becoming legal in the countries around us and is slowly becoming legal in our country. So why wouldn't any of these other marriages soon become legal? In my previous speech, I mentioned that the first country, which is the Netherlands, who legalized same-sex marriage, also now allow polygamous unions. Who say this wouldn't happen in our country? If we legalize one, why wouldn't we legalize the others? The order of marriage will slowly start to decline and the significance level of the once beautiful occurrence will drop and divorce rates will rapidly rise. As my opponent said that there's many divorce rates in our country, I found, according to Joseph Kami, author of Same-Sex Marriage, A New Social Phenomena, in Sweden, gay couples were 50% more likely to divorce. And I know this is in Sweden, but that's because we don't have many statistics on the divorce rates in our country yet. The statistics I clearly mentioned show that high amounts of same-sex same couples are raising a child together. Due to the research I've done, I discovered that there are many effects on children who lack either a father or mother. I only stated a few, but there, are too, there were too many to even mention in the little time I had. Children are what will shape the future of our world, and if they're suffering psychological problems due to the lack of a father or a mother in their life, um, then how successful will they be when they become adults? It is unfair to deprive a child of a certain parent because of one's own sexual desires. Ultimately, children living with both biological parents do better in school, are less promiscuous, won't engage in drugs and alcohol at a young age, and the positive list goes on. According to the studies I previously mentioned, specific gender roles play a very important part in the lives of married men and women. Men drink less, have, have lower testosterone levels, and are more sexually faithful. In the same sex marriage, in a same sex marriage, these gender roles are pre aren't present, and the marriage won't thrive as well as a heterosexual marriage would. I would like to conclude our argument with a passage from the Bible and also a quote. Romans 1, 1 18 says, There are give they are giving over to their passions. This, that means that their hearts are allowed to be hardened by their sins. And a quote by Michael Brown. Today, though we, though we are tampering with the very foundations of human society by redefining marriage, and in the end, when you tamper with foundations, the whole building collapses. Thank you.